Hi, Brian Abel here, webtennis.net. And, you know, really there are two major benefits from improving your overhead. And number one is obviously if you get a relatively short lob, uh, that you've really got a good chance with good stroke mechanics, good stroke technique on your overhead uh, to be able to end the point right then and there. But you know, in any kind of medium deep lob or even deeper lob where it really pushes you back kind of way past the service line, you know, you can develop an overhead that maybe you don't get a chance to put the ball away on that particular lob, but what you can do is develop uh, an overhead to where you can at least play the ball back safely uh, with some good pace, with some good placement skills, and be able to reclaim your net position, which is really your primary goal. And the last thing you want to do when you're up at net is have someone lob you and your overhead technique is such that it really pulls you and keeps you off the net. So, you know, number one, the benefit for, you know, having a really good overhead is your ability to be able to play a shot that gets you back up to the net so you and your partner in doubles can reclaim your good court position, your good net position, or if you're in singles, you know, you can continue to maintain that good net position uh, where you're always challenging your opponent to, uh, to try to have to go for a passing shot. Now the biggest challenge that we have with our overhead is initially determining what's the depth of the lob. It's pretty, it's pretty simple to figure out the direction. You know, is it going to be far to your right? Is it right over the top of your head? Is it going to be more on your backhand side where you've really got to move your feet quickly to be able to get in a good position at that overhead? The direction is pretty easy to determine right away, but the, what's tough is the depth. And typically the mistake that we make on, on measuring and determining the depth of that, of that lob is we have a tendency to sort of turn and look and we freeze for a second so that we can figure out visually what the depth of that, of that lob is going to be. And the real trick here is being able to instantly turn, take two steps back, and to be able to do that in a way so that you accomplish two things. Number one, you really start getting back early, but that number two is that you can start to determine the depth of that lob as you're moving. And that's really the toughest challenge initially with getting set up to play your overhead is making sure that as soon as that lob goes up you don't have to freeze for a second to kind of keep your head still, keep your eyes still so you can figure out how deep that lob's going to be. And you know once you train this enough, once you practice enough where you see the lob go up you instantly turn and one or two steps back is really all that you're going to need to be able to determine the depth of that overhead. Once you get that going, your overhead is going to dramatically improve. All right, hope this has helped. Any questions, Brent at webtennis.net. Have a great day out there. Hi, it's Brent Abel here, webtennis.net. Hope you enjoyed that little tip on the, the overhead. And you know, if you can develop a really good overhead, I'm not saying that you got to be able to you know, pop winners off every time the lob goes up. But if you can get inside your opponent's heads where they think they cannot get a lob by you and you can reclaim that net position, I'm telling you, singles and doubles, you're going to become a huge force up there at net.